Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Day Classic, and we're back at it again with another episode. And man, do I feel like shit. Well, you look like shit. You ate every damn piece of candy in the house again. It was a Halloween party. You sitting alone in the dark eating M&Ms is not a Halloween party, Gorilla. Well, first of all, if I turn the lights on, trick-or-treaters might come and knock in, and then I might run out of Halloween candy. Second of all, it was Reese's Cups. And third of all, it all adds up to another Halloween hangover. That is still not a thing. Halloween's over and it's a good thing. I feel like I have a Mego hangover. Well, I've got just the thing, some hair the dog. It's Mego Willy Wonka. You can't be serious. I'm dead ass, Jess. You're an ass, all right. Anyway, let's get started with Willy Wonka by Mego. Raz Holly, hit the music! <laughs> In 1964, the novel Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl was released, a story about the adventures of a kid inside the fantastical candy manufacturing facility of Willy Wonka. The book was a pretty big success, as only a few years later in 1971, it was adapted as a big screen musical starring Gene Wilder, Willy Wonka, and the Chocolate Factory. It's probably safe to say that the movie has become just as, if not more successful and culturally significant as the original novel. Interestingly, the film originally was considered a box office disappointment, but over time through home video and television airings has become a beloved classic. Oh yeah, and there was a shitty remake in the mid-2000s among the other shitty remakes that nobody asked for. Anyway, speaking of shitty remakes, Mego, the resurrected toy maker, got a hold of the rights to produce a Willy Wonka figure just recently. And on first glance, it seems pretty sweet, but let's find out if it's pure of heart or spoiled rotten and take a look at Willy Wonka by Mego. Okay, and from 2020, David L. Wolper presents Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Willy Wonka, 8-inch action figure, 14 points articulation, official limited edition action figure with original detail and quality. Marty Abrams presents Mego! It's Mego Willy Wonka. Um, Gene Wilder as Willy Wonka. And uh, you can tell... Right away, um, from the uh, just from outside the box, you can tell this has got a pretty goddamn good sculpt on it. Uh, ages 17 and up, adults only, baby. This is this is too hot, too hot for kids to touch. Even though it's got candy all over and it's basically a kids movie, um, this is an adult collectible. It is it's very fancy, um, and that's that's why they're trying to charge uh, 20, 30, 40 dollars a piece now. Um, for these fucking Mego figures. Um, but anyway, we're not talking about what they're doing right now. We're talking about this figure that was actually sold in stores, if you could find it in stores. Yes, it is Gene Wilder as, you know, the, the titular character of the film, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And man, he looks great. Um, and you can see the entire figure. You can see he comes with the hat. Again, with no cane there, so we are missing an accessory, um, not to, uh... I don't know, like, you can't ask for everything, you can't ask for the world when it comes to Mego, and uh, when you are spending $12.99 to $14.99 on these things, I guess I can't expect to get a fucking cane too, I gotta find a cane for some other fucking figure and use that, 
Anyway, let's take turn the box around and we can see we have um, the likeness, of course, of Gene Wilder as Willy Wonka. Um, so we can see that we did pay for likeness rights and all the good stuff that you're supposed to do when you make a fucking licensed character figure. They did it, and uh, and and good for them. Good for them. And uh, and so you know the same stuff that it says on the front of the box. It says on the back of the box. Um, wow, we've got a brand new blurb on here. A brand new blurb on the back of the box. I didn't know that there was a new blurb. I need to fucking read this to you guys. Because um, I was thinking it was the same thing that said before. Um, this is a brand new thing, and I'm going to read it to you right now. For new and old fans to play with and collect faithful reproductions of classic toys, bringing back fond memories while creating new ones. For 60 years, Marty Abrams has been an innovator in the toy business, heralded as the father of licensed toy action figures from the 70s. Wow! <laughs> He's the father of licensed action figures from 1971 to, to 1983. Specifically, uh, Marty created the original shared universe of Mego action figures who could interact in the same format. And that's true. That's one of the reasons why I do love Mego so much is that you get all these different characters and they're all on the same scale together. They can share clothes and uh, it's actually kind of cool. These Mego reproductions are authentic. That's right. These aren't fake reproductions of Mego. This isn't a fucking reproduction. Classic characters and play patterns. Ooh, using some fucking toy lingo on the back there. Play patterns brought back in the true classic vision of the original Migos. And there he is. It's me! It's me. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> That's, I don't know why they always got to have his dumb face on the back as if he's the one saying all this stuff. Anyway, of course, oh, as always, legal mumbo jumbo. On the back there, item number 62965, made in China. Obviously, I can't wait any longer. Let's get this goddamn thing open and see what it looks like outside of the box. All right, so here he is. It's uh, Gene Wilder as Willy Wonka, as advertised. Um, just taking a look at this, uh, it just, just right off the bat, out of the box, very, very nice. Very nice sculpt, nice accessory. We've got the top hat. Again, no cane. Um, the, the, the clothes looking great. Um, starting from the bottom here, um, we see no socks. Again, put some fucking socks on these things. You want to raise the price? Raise the fucking quality bar. Jesus. Anyway. Um, we've got the slacks that are connected to the top. It looks like it's all one piece. Not too bad, because you know what? That, that means it's not going to get screwed up. You've got the little bow tie attached as well. And uh, we have the, the corduroy coat um, that comes down onto a... Uh, looks like he's, they kind of gave him a smaller build on that. Hey, you know what? Maybe it helps to fit the arms through the coat a little better. Um, the posing... At least on this arm. Oh no, he can do it. You got all the different poses and stuff like that. Again, still a banded figure, not an S type figure. Um, you could do the conversion, but it's uh, you know, it's a pain in the ass. You shouldn't have to do the conversion. These things should be should be at least that good to begin with. And uh, the the fact is is that they're not. I don't see any like really blatant issues with this. Um, the hat does does fit pretty good on the top of the head. You do gotta jam it on there. Um, but once you get it on there, it ain't going nowhere. It's not popping off um, like we've seen on other figures with, uh, with hats that don't stay on the fucking heads. Um, this one does stay on the head. Um, he doesn't... He, they still got these dumb hands that can't hold anything. I mean, I guess he could hold his hat if you really wanted him to. A bit beyond that. Um, not really much uh, that would look good. 
So at the end of the day, this is actually a really nice figure um, for the price. For the, for the retail price that they were charging for it at the time, this was a nice figure. But I know, I know right now that if you go online, because they, now they got a new deal with Tops. And uh, with Tops, they're selling these things for $20 a piece plus ship, and you can't buy them in stores. They sell them for a week at a time. You're buying them months in advance before they ever come out. And, uh, and, and they're $20 a piece now, plus ships. So you're looking at maybe $30 a piece um, when it comes down to it. And they've made them exclusive um, so that not everybody's going to be able to get a hold of them. Not that they were super easy to find in the first fucking place. And, uh, but, but, but beyond that, these... These right here, these were $12.99, $14.99. I can't remember ex exactly which one this was as far as the price is concerned. Um, well worth it as far as that's concerned. It's too bad um, we couldn't uh, continue in the direction of staying at retail and, and casting a wide a net as possible. Well, that's Willy Wonka by Mego. What did you guys think of this figure? Let us know in the comments down below. Okay, that's three weeks of Mego in a row. What's next? Three more weeks of Mego! What? That's right, it's Mego Vember, and we'll be looking at Mego figures all month long. Raz oh, Holly, hit the music!